Hey guys, welcome back. Please leave a like so this video is recommended to others and hit that subscribe button so you can keep seeing videos just like this. Before we get into the video though, we need to talk about data brokers that sell your information to spammers, scammers, and anyone else who wants to target you. Everything from your name, your email, and your home address are all out there. And that's why we're partnering up with the sponsor of today's video, Aura. Aura can show you which data brokers are selling your information and automatically submits opt-out requests for you. I get like a million phone calls a day from scammers every single day. Using Aura to help clean up your information can help reduce spam, and it protects me from hackers who can use this information to get into any of my accounts like my social media, my bank account, and any other sensitive information that's out there. You also get other features like an antivirus, password management, VPNs, parental control, identity theft insurance, and so much more without having to download several different apps. It's really easy to set up and you can get all these features for one affordable price. And Aura always stays on doing the hard work for me, keeping me safe so I can concentrate on the things that are really important. I really value my privacy and so should you. You can go to Aura.com slash Awevo to start your two week free trial, which will also be linked in the description down below. Thank you again to Aura for sponsoring this video. And again, you can get this deal by clicking the link in the description below. A couple's serene camping trip in the wilderness takes a heart pounding turn as they find themselves encircled by a pride of lions in the dead of night. The moment the man spots the lions, he zips up the tent and douses his flashlight, hoping to make themselves less visible. Yet, the lions linger, their curiosity piqued by the unfamiliar shelter in their territory. Lions, being the patient hunters they are, don't easily give up on potential prey. One particularly bold male seems fixated on the tent, pacing back and forth just outside. Inside, the man frequently checks for any signs of the lions departing, Seizing a moment of apparent calm, he daringly peeks out, only to attract the male lion's attention back to the tent. As the lion starts to paw at their temporary abode, the man resorts to shouting, trying to use his voice to intimidate the predator. Miraculously, a flap of the tent falls, startling the lion into retreating temporarily. However, the relief is short-lived as the pride doesn't stray far, leaving the couple in a state of heightened vigilance constantly watching for any signs that the lions might overturn their tent, a scenario they would likely not survive. Despite the fear and danger, the leader of the pride, the male lion, continues his attempts to breach the tent, undeterred by the man's continued shouts and attempts at scaring him off. It seems, though, that the lion eventually deems the tent and its occupants not a threat or worth the effort, as the female lions start to disperse and the male finally decides to move on. After a tense wait to ensure the lions have truly left, the man bravely exits the tent to retrieve self-defense tools from another tent. It leaves us to wonder, faced with such a perilous situation, how would any of us react? Would we have the courage to stay quiet and hopeful inside the tent, or would we try to scare off the lions? Share your thoughts, what would you do if you were in their shoes? Did they not know there was gonna be lions? I'm pretty sure that was probably part of the experience. You don't just randomly accidentally pitch a tent next to some lions. That's like specifically camping where you know there's 100% bears. Rough waters can cause a rough exit. Let's see. My dude's just laying on the horn as if that's gonna help. <laughs> Thank you for laying on that horn, sir. Crisis averted. Oh my god. My worst fear would be that this happens while I'm sitting on the toilet. Imagine falling into a sinkhole full of your own poop. <laughs> they were exploring an abandoned campsite when they hear this. An urban explorer from Belgium by the name Sias went to explore an abandoned campsite with three of his friends when they noticed this handmade sign that states the area ahead is for worshippers only. After checking to see if anyone's there, they make their way back home to avoid any trouble. But as they do, this happens. What the f***? What the f***? There's no auto or so, eh? 
Hallo? 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 What the f***? What the f***? Someone can be heard screaming within the woods as a tall woman runs at them with a hatchet. Hey! After running away and hiding in the trees, he calls the police. As police arrive, Sias makes his way over to them. When this happens... Dude, this is real. The woman is found detained, only to be let go with a warning. What the crap was she doing in the woods? This looked real. Those were actual cops. It seems to be real. Everyone's saying it's real. Oh my gosh, there goes the neighbor's tramp. Oh no, dude. Let it go. Oh, dang. How much is a trampoline? A hundred bucks? Bennett, get out of there! You will get taken too. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Bennett! And it's gone. See, even the kid was right. It's a thought that counts. Take a look at this, you guys. This is in Mexico. This guy was walking home last night and he caught what appears to be a face in the sky, y'all. Look at that, y'all. It looks like a female's face. Look at this. Did that did that just, just blink? Look, it just blinked. Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit for y'all. Just a little bit. But yeah, yep. Yeah, that's her blinking. Yeah, man. What do y'all think? That's crazy, man. But this is in Mexico, y'all. Oh, wow. Even clearer. What is going on? Now, again, this might be Project Blue Beam. We have no idea, but you can't be dismissing things, y'all, because you see a whole bunch of things taking place on the Earth right now that has never taken place before. So you got to be very open-minded, but it's crazy, y'all. It's like a huge superhero looking at us. Dude, that's a pretty good projection. I'm not going to lie. Like, that's very clear in the sky. I don't know what kind of projector is strong enough to do that, but it could probably project some UFOs up there too. If you're flying anytime soon, then you might want to cancel your flight because there have been three separate incidents all on Boeing airplanes this week. Now, this incident just happened today when a Boeing 737 MAX's landing gear completely collapsed when landing, causing the airplane to skid off the runway. Now, this next one happened just yesterday when a Boeing 777's wheel fell off of the landing oh gear, falling into a parking lot, absolutely obliterating nearby cars. And then just this Monday, a Boeing 737's engine completely caught fire during flight, forcing them to make an emergency landing. I mean, at this point, so many Boeing incidents keep happening that can you really trust flying on one of these airplanes? I mean, it seems like something's happened in their quality division because people are finding that their airplane is just missing bolts on the wing or portions of the plane are just completely blowing off. 
And I feel like two or three years ago, you never heard about incidents like this. And if you did, it was like once every couple of years. But now it seems like things like this are happening every other week. And honestly, at this point, it makes me nervous to fly on a Boeing airplane. <laughs> But that's my opinion. Let me know what you think are the causes in the comments and follow for more up-to-date news. Oh, Boeing. The McDonald's of airplanes. Why haven't they been shut down yet? You would think that enough issues would arise that somebody would step in and just stop any Boeing plane from taking off ever again. Come here. It's cold, I know. You're freezing. Got a lot of fur, though. Ow, mother Son of a got me. Ow! God, coyotes! And you're mad at the coyote for basically being a coyote. I hope you like rabies shots. Kiki. It's seven o'clock in the morning. Silence. Little buddy's ready to go. He's ready to get this day started, man. Get up, lazy bones. <laughs> Did you know these facts? Our ability to smell wet earth from rain is greater than a shark's ability to smell blood and water. If you have a shrimp allergy, you also cannot eat cicadas. There's nearly double the castles in Germany than there are McDonald's in the United States. Nigerians elected a former dictator as a president in 2015. 2024 will be the biggest election year of all time with more than half of the world's population voting in national elections. There is no word in the English language that rhymes with silver. US State Department officially recommends that if you're traveling to Somalia, you should first draft a will and also appoint one family member to serve as point of contact with hostage takers. The average office employee who works an eight hour day is only productive on average for two hours and 23 minutes. Boeing 787s must be turned on and off about every 50 days to prevent potentially catastrophic failure scenarios. Athletes who wear red have a competitive advantage. Viewing red even subconsciously can increase heart rate and aggression levels. Dude, I don't even want to think about the elections that are happening this year. You already know it's going to be total chaos. I just want to find a hole and live in the hole. It's gonna be a little scary, man. Oh, the gorilla enclosure video. This happened to here. It was in Fort Worth. I think, what? Shoot, she doesn't know. Come here, guys. We're gonna go good. inside. Yeah, We're gonna go inside. She's a no. Come on, guys. Let's go inside. Come on, guys. We're gonna go inside. Yes. Close that door. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. God help her. 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 God her. help her. God protect her. You know, like this animal God, animals here. obey your voice. I wish you. Please protect her. God. Ah, holy man, that poor lady. I think this happened during feeding time and somebody made a mistake or something. They weren't supposed to let the gorilla out of its enclosure when the employees were in there. So somebody screwed up. Just the worst possible standoff you could think. At least the gorilla was chill though.
boy fast, like a ninja. That was probably super epic in his head. He was at the final boss. <laughs> when he was a little kid, we go to the shop and buy a little bottle. Fiji, we never go to the shop. We just come straight in the bush and pick this plant. <laughs> That's amazing. Ready? Wow. Can you do it? Come. You've got to make your own. Yeah, look to the kid with camera. A blue. Oh. Bro. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> Thank you, little kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane, dude. What's this plant called? It's called a Jatropha Quercus. Quercus. Jatropha Quercus. And it has antimicrobial and antiviral compounds. So it really is like soap. The more you know. This is the weirdest airline in the world. It's called Wizz Air and every single passenger on this flight has no idea where they're going. You basically purchase this mystery ticket that will take you to an unknown destination and you don't find out where you're going until you land. In fact, these people on TikTok were posting their mystery destination mm -hmm. and they all seemed happy that it turned out to be Turkey. Like to I'd be happy too. too. <laughs> Turkey. However, people in the comments had differing opinions, saying things like I would never board a flight where I don't know where I'm going, and how do they know what type of clothes to pack. So we're about to get on a flight with the catches, and nobody on the plane knows the location until we land. All we've been told is to expect up to 20 degree weather, bring a bikini and some hiking clothes, we are literally flying into the unknown. We board the plane, and after five hours and a lot of guessing, we've finally told the location. So if you didn't know... Nah, dude. You get on that plane and the first thing you see when you get off is North Korea. <laughs> Even the top comment. <laughs> North Korea. Yeah, no. Screw that, dude. If you wear Apple AirPods, you may be at risk of something even worse than yep. looking totally cool. 250 scientists from over 40 countries have signed a petition to warn against radio wave radiation from wireless technologies. Think about AirPods. You put these on your head, they communicate through your brain, and they are very clearly producing a significant amount of microwave electromagnetic field EMF radiation. Look. Whoa. Oh, I'm not you again. I've tested it. It's very clear. AirPods are producing a huge amount, and you're wearing them for sometimes hours a day when you're at the gym. There is a solid amount of research, over 1,500 studies, and the vast majority of that research suggests that this microwave radiation is harmful for your body. There's also studies with humans showing that when they are exposed to these EMFs, they have more DNA breaks and their motility is impaired. Look, there are easy solutions here. Wired headphones are going to significantly reduce the amount of EMFs, especially if your phone is on airplane mode and you are listening to pre-recorded content while you are using them. Wait, so is it just AirPods? I'm already stupid enough. I don't want my headphones making me stupider. I could imagine though, other brands are emitting some radiation, maybe not as much as AirPods. Maybe that's why they're being singled out. I go to Walmart specifically to see things like this. Anytime I go there, it's an eventful day. It seems like a normal Tuesday here. Oof. Hello. 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 Damn. That thing's about to turn into a sinkhole, man. Looks like they've already tried fixing it once. I'd say sue the city, but it'd probably get thrown out. He was working the night shift when this happened. During the late hours of the night, a security guard was working the night shift at an undisclosed facility when he notices a man walks into the establishment. As the man just stands there by the door, he thinks this just might be a new hire he wasn't informed of, so he begins conversing with this man in regards to training procedures. But as the guard invites this person over, this happens. As the guard offers him a chair, the visible shadow of a person can be seen walking towards it. The guard continues to interact with this being as if he sees a normal person. After the remainder of the night passed, the guard called his boss asking her why he wasn't told there was a new guy. Confused since there shouldn't be a new guy, she watches over the surveillance cameras and makes a horrifying realization whatever the guard saw that night wasn't human. You see that shadow? 
and then the shadow goes over here and he pulling the chair out for him he swore he swore to god he sat there and had a whole conversation with this person he moved over talking to him and everything y'all better protect yourselves whatever that was took advantage of him took advantage of him was there another part we didn't see <laughs> even the ghosts out here are having a hard time finding jobs <laughs> I'm convinced the Mimic Octopus is not from Earth. Lots of animals can camouflage, but none quite like this alien. They don't just camouflage. They could change their color, their texture, and their shape to mimic completely different creatures in the ocean. This is their ultimate defense mechanism when one of their predators shows up. They'll just turn into a venomous creature that the predator wants no smoke with, like a jellyfish or a sea snake or a lionfish. And they don't just change their looks. They begin moving like the creature as well. And the craziest part is they could change from one shape to another faster than we could blink. Call me crazy, but that's a superpower. They also use their ability for offense. When it's time for them to eat, what they'll do is they'll go and mimic a crab, and then it'll go find another crab and try to be buddies with it. The crab's gonna feel safe with another crab, and then boom, the octopus gets its meal. That's messed up. Like they say, be careful who you trust. Moral of the story, if anybody ever tells you that aliens aren't real, show them this guy. And as always, Follow for more facts. That's what I've been telling you, man. They're like aliens. They're freaking aliens. I feel kind of bad for the crab, though. <laughs> he thought he made a new friend. Whoops. Dude, dinner date. Oi, try it with the sauce, bro. Trust me, you'll like it. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Saucy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah? Want some more? Cheese sauce. Mmm. Tasty. Thank you. I didn't know this. That's just a possum, but it's an Australian possum. The one creature that's from Australia that's actually cuter than the one we have here. He was so chill too. No hissing. After 20 years in a cage, this bear is kept on circling in an imaginary cage for seven years, se several times a week. Hmm. That's very sad, man. I do love zoos. I would be lying if, you know, every time I've ever gone, tell me the animals don't look super bummed out. This is partially the reason why I haven't been to a zoo in a while. A leaf sheep, a tiny sea slug that looks like a cartoon sheep. Looks like a cartoon. Never seen one of those before. It's like a little Pokemon. No, this is not photoshopped and people's heads will all start to morph into this. It's a dent, bro. I have a dent, it's a f***ing indent. That's bro. You don't. Okay, well. Scientists predicted that many internet users will all have heads in the near future and their heads will dent. However, this is no longer a prediction and is now happening across the world. People were terrified when Twitch streamer <laughs> Curtis had shaved his head for charity. Dude, the shaver's working like a champ. Dude, I have like an indent right here. This is where my headphones go. I have a headphone indent in my head? Curtis was terrified to see the start of a dent. Oh, but there's more because it didn't just stop there. This prompted other gamers to shave their heads and to post their shaved heads to speak up about it. Streamer Tim the Tapman posted a terrifying photo of what his head has turned into. Is there a dent in my head? Dude! Many people have now been opting out of using headsets to avoid this, but it might be too late for many. The scientist prediction also talked about <laughs> gamers' bellies as well as their hand shape. So, which will be next? This is gonna be me in 10 years. How long do you wear your headset for? Jeez. I probably wear mine tops one, two hours a day. He did say they were streamers though. Streamers usually spend a couple hours in front of the computer. I hope my head doesn't get like this. Please God. <laughs> a bearded vulture, the only animal whose diet is almost exclusively bone. Well, that explains that. He took it like a champ. No gag reflex. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> nah, dude, he was set up. That's a setup right there, man. Why is there an extra step here? That makes absolutely zero sense. Why is there a step here? A dog, this one here, was involved in a car crash in Michigan and then ran to her doggy daycare a mile away for help. She and her owner, Melissa Fickle, were off to the park to enjoy the nice weather when another car hit Fickle's at an intersection. Aries, the dog's name there, bolted from the car, ran straight to the doggy daycare that she frequently visits. Fickle was worried she'd never see her dog again until the daycare called. Fortunately, nobody was seriously injured in that crash. It's amazing. Right? It's like Lassie. It's like, what happened? There you Timmy go. fell in the well? <laughs> exactly. Good girl. Tell us where to go. Yeah. Nicely done. She ran to where she knows she'd be safe. That is a good advertisement for that daycare. They need to run with that. Make this your commercial. Well guys, that's all I have today. Thanks for hanging out with me again. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, you're awesome and I appreciate you. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.